Hi everyone, uh, my name is Isabella Kong and today I will be painting a bunny. So what I'm, what I'm using is a HB pencil on a watercolor paper, which is Archie's uh, um, 140 pound cold press watercolor paper. Um, draw very, very lightly. Don't, you don't want to draw too hard because number one, everybody makes mistakes or um, needs a little bit of guidelines, like kind of like see this oval of the head, I draw through it. Um, and then I'll erase these going through lines later. I have this mop brush. Um, it's a very standard, probably squirrel hair mop brush, but I believe I got it in Asia where there's no brand on it. Um, it's about quarter inch to an inch size. Um, but if you use real hair and you use something of a big mop brush size, it can load up a lot of paint in there and it's easy for you to do washes. So start um, with the light values. Um, always watercolor, it's easier to start from light to dark than to go way too dark and try to get it lighter again because A, um, by lifting, you're kind of removing a lot of the textures you lay down and B, um, the watercolor is transparent um, and you can layer on it by glazing. So to start, I'm gonna use my mop brush, absorb some of this cerulean blue and just slap it on more or less the shadowy areas. I think this is a little too dark, don't worry. Grab a little bit more water in your brush. And you don't want to overdo the detail. I'm not gonna try to do every single hair on this bunny. Um, you just wanna have a, a few really strong accents. Um, and then the viewers will kind of figure out the rest. It's like imitating how your eyeball sees the world and observes the world. And since you're painting so lightly, most of the layers that I already added are drying or is already dry. So you don't have to worry so much about the colors merging in together. Keep squinting every now and then, look back and forth and see where else you can add darker values. Squinting really helps you um, simplify shapes and just focuses on the value and color difference. So when you want to compare something, it's great if you just squint. Oh, be careful not to touch where the wet paint is. Um, it'd be great if you can squint your eyes and look with your eyeballs very quickly, back and forth, back and forth. And then you can really, really notice the difference. I might add a little bit of background on the bottom here just to show off the foot a little bit better and um, finish up the nose and the eyes. Maybe add a little bit more darker little areas on the ears and I will be finished with this. That's drying. I'm not going to touch the ear area, but I'm definitely going to keep building up my values and layering and glazing all of that fur, all that white body fur that this little bunny has. So a little bit more of that purple again. 